Hi, C. Bavoda here with a tutorial on how to create a vinyl record in Adobe Illustrator CS3. So I just have a new document open. I'm going to go to View, Show Rulers, and click up here and drag myself down a guide. I'm going to go over to my Layers palette, double click that, and actually call it Guide. It's OK. And down here, select Create Another Layer, and this is going to be our record layer. Now the first thing we want to do is select the ellipse tool, click on the artboard, and we're going to create a circle that is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. We want that to have a stroke that is black, and a fill that just is a couple shades lighter. And for the stroke, we're going to go to the stroke palette, give it a weight of four points, and down here you have three options. One is align stroke to center, a line stroke to inside and a line stroke to outside. We want it to be aligned to the inside. And then just click this, align it to our guide. And that's how our circle is going to look to start to build our record. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the ellipse tool and we're going to create some shadow effects. So something like that. That looks good. We want to eliminate the stroke here and actually give it a shade of gray for a color. I'm going to select this too and we're just going to go to our line palette and the line center. So that looks good. Now with this selected, over here you see this is called the rotate tool, but if you click and hold it, right underneath is the reflect tool. Now with that selected, I'm going to take my cursor and align it with my guide so that it turns red. I'm going to hold Alt and click and it's going to bring up my reflect palette here and or I guess my reflect options and horizontal preview you can see where it's going to go down there and I'm going to copy because I actually want to create a copy of it so with my black arrow tool I'm going to hold shift select both of these I'm going to go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and let's change that to about 8 pixels so look how that nicely softens the edges there but it still isn't where we need it to be, so we're going to select these two again, and we're going to go to our transparency palette, and let's change this to multiply. And there we go. That's a nice shadow effect right there for our record. But we have all this extra stuff up here and down here, so I'm just going to open this, select the original circle we created, and edit, copy, edit, paste in front. And back on the layers palette, click this path, drag it to the top of the pile, then select everything, and we are going to create a clipping mask. And what that does is eliminates everything outside of the circle, pretty much. So there we go. Nice shadow effects there and there. And now we got to create the rings to go into the, like, the center of the record. So ellipse tool once again. But down here, let's eliminate the fill and click on the stroke. Keep it black, but for our weight, let's change it to 0 0.5 points. And let's just start drawing. Hold shift as you're creating your circle so that it actually is a perfect circle. That is good. Select everything. Align it both ways. Make sure it's still aligned on our guide. Yep, perfect. Well, because our guide was selected there too, so it's aligned to it perfectly. And let's just select the outer ring here. And we're going to go over here to our scale tool. Click on that. And let's try align our cursor with that target so that both crosshairs turn red. Click on it. Select the outer edge here. And start to drag it in. But we want to hold Alt to make a copy and Shift to make sure it's a perfect circle. Let's do something like that. And if we press Command D or Control D if you're on a PC, we can just duplicate that. So we have tons of circles all the way down, but that's too many, so let's just randomly go in and delete some of them. Let's select the center one and delete that stroke, select the fill, make it orange, and then let's go to this the outer one and just click these arrows here to reverse that so now we have a black fill and no stroke. That looks pretty good. 
what I also want to do here is actually let's just create one more circle. So let's align the crosshairs and drag this in, holding Alt and Shift. Make something right near the edge like that. We want to eliminate the fill, and on this one, select white. Then under transparency, let's give it a soft light. So that adds a nice little color effect to the edge of our sticker in the center. And one more circle to create the hole in the middle of the record. Now we want that to have white fill and no stroke. That's all looking pretty good. Just gonna make sure it's all aligned once again. Yeah. And we have one more highlight to give, which is gonna be a nice white highlight or lighter highlight going across where the guide is. So with my line segment tool selected, I'm just gonna go where my guide is, hold on my shift button so I could drag it straight across. And I need to make sure that the stroke color is white. So now that creates a nice white line across. Actually, let me just hide the guides so it's easy for you to see. Yeah, that one there. So you can see there, that's the white stroke I just created. With that selected, effect, blur, and we're going to create another Gaussian blur. Eight pixels is fine. That creates a nice highlight going right across there. It's a bit hard to see actually because the record's a bit pale should be a bit darker. So let's just go down here and select our original circle path and select the fill color and make that one shade darker. There we go. That looks really good. With it all selected, I'm going to go back here and get my rotate tool, double click on the tool, bring this up and negative 45 degrees. That's great. So we're just going to create a little angle there. We rotated our record, we got our highlight going across here and our two shadows going here, and there you have a vinyl record created in Adobe Illustrator CS3.